main card. Well do it fight. Miguel Dominguez. Alejandro Sandoval. Is the sexual ah. deviant self, Teddy Neverland. Biggest fact, sexual deviant. We and Arnold Palmer with a paddle. Ah. Ah. Palmer, I understand, is into some really kinky fight. shit. Arnold Palmer loves, like, nep nipple tweaking. You think Man. Palmer loves a finger in the asshole? Or a fist. Hell, I believe Arnold Palmer can stretch her entire axe and fit a man's head inside of it. That seems a bit much. <laughs> also, you're pretty vulgar tonight. Well, you know, job security is a wonderful thing, Randy. You said shit when we were doing that stupid boxing thing. I think you're I think you're starting to break out. Well, you know, it's a time for celebration. It's our one year anniversary. I call a lot. Somebody call Ishmael. A man can be professional and still uh, relax at the same time. Somebody call Ishmael. We have fun later. If he's in attendance, sure, why not? Then you know, it's a, it's a huge party. It's a huge after party. It's our one year anniversary, so of course it's going on. But meanwhile, we've got a, quite the slugfest going on. Oh, and a shot by Dominguez comes out of the back seat and just reaches over and clocks Sandoval. Both these guys have really uh, long reach. It's going to be interesting to see how they move in and out. And Dominguez, owning the center of that octagon-like structure, blocks the flying knee, but oh, gets the up kick to Sandoval after getting swept. You gotta watch those up kicks from the when you're on your back. And here is Dominguez from the clinch, trying to push him up against the the cage. And oh, that double uh -oh. necktie, the Muay Thai clinch as it's often called. It's a double necktie by Sandoval. Let's a knee loose, but well blocked by Dominguez. Both these fighters have a Muay Thai background. So there's nothing. And that's that Spanish for lots of highs. Big kick to the face. Front kick from Dominguez comes out with a couple of hooks. This is very entertaining fight so far. Entertaining first round. You gotta hope there's more of this to come. And meanwhile, just 25 seconds to go. It's interesting, every time they get uh, within, they gotta find their range, I think, in this entire fight. Every time they get a little too crowded, the punches aren't as effective. They gotta move in and out a lot. And that is the end of an exciting first round. These welterweights are really a great, a really great um, you know, mix of speed and power. As we see, I don't know when that cut appeared. Yeah, over. Like it broke his nose. Uh, there's, looks like a bit of a bloody nose. Uh, I saw a bit under Sand uh, from Sandoval. I don't know if that was from Dominguez's uh, right hand, but I don't, I don't mean to sound gay, but I just want to run my hair through, or run my hand through uh, Sandoval's hair. Just gonna run my hand through it. it it's it's intriguing. I, I'm sure there are countless Mexican. Uh, female soap stars. Again, he's Costa Rican born, but lives in Mexico because he's a Mexican soap star. And um, I'm sure there are countless uh, leading ladies who have done that. Rolling pin again. Rolling pin, the unfortunately tan rolling pin. Uh, she had a tanning accident, I believe, is what we were told. And oh, starting off with the head kick from Dominguez, leads off with another one. Nice switch kick. Again, a nice Muay Thai technique. And oh, oh Sandoval is in and gets his back from when he tried that spinning back kick. Did not rotate the entire way. And got the double underhooks, does Sandoval. Throwing some knees to the body. Interesting, he, what he's going to do from those from those double underhooks, if he can lift up the knees of Dominguez, that's going to expose the ribs and he can throw. Oh, but Dominguez sweeps him. And lets him up again. The ground game, not the, the foray of either of these fighters. I'm sure they have Forte, excuse me. They're not really, uh, it's not their, their, their go-to game. This is much more of the stand-up game. But again, these two, really exciting fight so far. Three, ten, mid 10 to go in, this, in round two. And Dominguez moves in with a couple of hooks and stands back out. A lot of combos. Nice combo by Sandoval, ending with the leg kick, coming in with the knee, independently then goes to the flying knee. 
you know, I don't think it's going to be one of those big one shots. I think it's going to be a combination that's really going to cause the end if we see a finish here. And of course, oh, really? that's a score again. And Sandoval going for the flying knee again. I don't know. Oh, I think he's going to yeah. knee space off. And that is what Sandoval needs to do. He sets up with the jab, throws the left head kick. It's his rear kick for him. Oh, nice front kick to the face. It's almost a teep, I guess. It's referred to as the teep in, in Muay Thai. It's called a push kick. Again, teep is the Thai word for it. It's usually used to keep your opponent at bay, and he oh. goes to again. And oh my god! Saw that one coming that time. Both are flying knees and, and combos. I'm not talking about the pretzel cheese things. This is why these are those? These are two of our top welterweights in the division. And oh, he ran into a fist. but yeah, he ran into it, and still got the knee off to the midsection. Again, this is just how conditioned these athletes are. They can absorb so much. They just have just tempered their body over all their training. I mean, this is this is such an important fight for both men. And oh, nice uppercut by Dominguez, which is over the top. A couple of hooks. Again, Sandoval using that teeth to keep him at bay. Oh, and a nice couple oh. knocks him down to end the round. Petty never and stops it. You gotta wonder if that might have been it for Alejandro Sandoval. He did not come out, but it made him look like a bitch. He really did not look good. That, that, that didn't give Dominguez the round. I don't know what will. So you gotta follow in at range. He's backing up square. Listen, jab, okay? I don't want you looking at him. I want you step jabbing with the quick jab, okay? He's got nothing. I want him. Oh, look at that. Right in the gut and then the face. Really strong combination, strong strikes. That's how we ended the round. A couple rights and lefts. You got to punish him this right. Go And to Dominguez has got to feel confident that he can finish this fight. Ah, there's the third one. Uh, Eagle Cunt. Ah, we've got her. Are you ready? Yeah, what's her name? Eagle something. Ah, that's what I thought. Eagle Cunt. There we go. It's her name. I get censored for it. Wow. It's her name. Her name is Eagle Cunt. Her name oh, is. I'm like, I am like a proud father of that kid I don't know. Well, that's. And you're like the father I've. I've seen discipline kids in malls. Uh, uh, I wasn't implying that you were like my father, Randy. That's just would be weird and creepy. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, oh, a okay. Oh, shot by Dominguez drops Sandoval again, who brings him into his guard. Just breaks the posture of of Dominguez and goes for an elbow. Dominguez back up. Oh, and there's a big right here. is out. What a knockout blow from Miguel Dominguez. Randy, okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just have to, have to take a swim walk. <laughs> Fuck! And down goes Sandoval. I'm just watching that in just amazing wonder. That is a fantastic. That is a, that is a one-year anniversary knockout. Wow. 367 broken face bones I got tonight. You got the clicker going right now. Declaring the winner by knockout. Which is ironic since I can't read. Well, what an impressive victory for Miguel Dominguez. Nothing against Alejandro Sandoval. These are two top welterweight competitors. But Dominguez is impressive, and there's going to be a big fight in his future, you can tell.